racial slurs. Palestinians, the n***ers of the Middle East. The Irish, the n***ers of Europe. If you want to put somebody down, analogize them to the n***. What's also interesting is that oh, they weren't originally trying to catch a tiger by its tail. So the first usage of the word is that it's derogatory. Now the word's also used among black people as a sort of endearing word. Now we're not going to get into the whole A versus ER. I think that most people who are black have kind of set up their mind where they stand on that conversation. So we're not really going to get into that. But I think that there's a third usage of the word. And this is where I find myself having to have these conversations most of the time. And that's amongst people who are not black. They use the word either in a joke or when they're quoting something in a song. They themselves don't see this as being a racist use of the word. A tool of oppression. Its historical context cannot be erased. Who is allowed to say it? In reality, everyone is allowed to say whatever it is that they want to say. But there will always be consequences for your words and your actions. So depending on who you are and where you are, there will be different consequences for what you say and do. And this is not something that's just related to the N-word or was just specifically created for this word. This is a regular occurrence. It's a matter of in-group versus out-group dynamics. So when you're a member of a certain group, there are things that are totally okay and socially acceptable when you're in that group. And for people outside of that group, you give them the side eye and it's just not okay. For example, for some reason, football players pat each other on the butt as a way to say like good job and no one thinks twice about it it's totally okay but as soon as that football player steps off the field if some random stranger walked up to them and started petting them on the butt they would not be okay with it whoa dude who are you why are you patting my butt is the common idea that if you guys don't want people to say it then you should stop saying it i actually heard this most recently when i spoke at a college from one of the students at my talk, and it was just like, Pfft. all black people don't do the same things or act the same way or use the same language. Personally, I don't use the N-word, and I'm not gonna begrudge anyone else that does it because you can talk about yourself however you want to. And there are some people that really believe that using the N-word is a way to reclaim it. It's like an act of defiance. You know, you have used this horrible word to oppress me and keep me down, so so I'm going to turn it around and change its meaning into something else. Furthermore, all black people are not tapped into some hotline. There's not a number that I can call and make decisions about what we should all do. Like, I can't call up Kendrick Lamar and be like, hey, Kendrick, I love Mad City, but you use the N-word way too much and it's making us look bad. P.S. You got robbed at the Grammys. It's just not fair. It's a double standard that black people can use the N-word and everyone else can't. The reason this bothers me so much is it's completely self-serving and disingenuous. These people do not care about fairness or any of the disparities that black people in this country and around the world face, because if they did, they wouldn't be arguing over the use of the N-word. Instead, they'd focus on real problems like job discrimination, housing... <clears throat> so, you guys, um, I made a statement in my brother's chat when um some stuff was being said and we will not even go through all that i made a statement of saying that um hold on you guys excuse me for the pop-ups so i made a statement saying it's very taboo because black people say it all the time or every day and when a caucasian person say it um we get mad or it's offended when white people say it so um I was just trying to give out some context of other uh, other country creators saying it because I don't want my word to be taken out of context. So I was say, okay, when um, we say it, it's not offensive. Some people think it is. We say the N word all the time. So my thing is this: when someone else says it, we get so offended and jump out the window. Okay, it's a bad word. That's all I was saying. I was saying that I believe that the white man or the white woman should be coming around here calling us niggas. Hell no. Nah. Hell to the no. That's not what I'm saying. I just made a statement. So, with me saying this, people want to jump out the window and say, Oh, I believe that white people should be calling black people niggers. No, 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 sugar. That's not what I said. I said it's taboo. 
Because we walk around, and, and, and it's like I said, for um, adornment. Or, what's up, my nigga? Bracing for a hug. Or, hey, how you doing, my nigga? Stuff like that. But we don't sit offensive. It's very offensive when a white person calls a black person a nigga or a nigger. From the E-R to the A, it doesn't matter. Yes, I have a problem with it. I just said it's taboo. That's all I was saying. So whoever had a problem with it, you could hit me up. We could have discussed it. But obviously you want to make an issue out of what I said. My mother-in-law just passed away. <laughs> Nobody hit me and said, sorry for your loss. Sorry that you're going through this. I'm going through some other stuff. Haven't even been on YouTube like that. Jumped into my brother's Jedi chat today. Here he goes. I said something about um, uh, House of Queens TV. She don't mind white people calling black people niggas. No, that's not what I said. I said it's a taboo. And this is not a me to apologize for what I said because I stand 10 times on what I said. And there was nothing, nothing wrong with what I said. I said it's a taboo. And it is a taboo. And this discussion has been said many of times. In person or not. I haven't spoke about it on my channel. And have no one else came to me and said, hey, let's talk about this. Uh, African man, he brought it up. And then Miriam, she had um, something to say about the white man saying what he said. And I totally agree with her. And I said it in the comments, but was that displayed? No, it wasn't. I was agreeing with Ahmad L. Was that displayed? No, it wasn't. So like people said, like that one lady just said, oh, it's not who says something or who says that. It's the crowd. It's the sisterhood or the brotherhood. Because I also said to a person I was talking to tonight that when black people are killed by other black people, there's no one's marching. And she also said that they go to jail. Well, not all the time they go to jail. Why do we not get angry when a black person kills another black person? So, let me tell me this. So, when a black person kills another black person, do you guys get angry? If it's not displayed on social media... But we get angry when a white person kills a black person. Of course we're going to get angry. But if we don't know anything about it, it's not on social media. Because where I stay at, even in Louisiana, that happens almost every other day. A white person kills a black person because of the color of its skin. Yes, the color of its skin. I face that every day in Louisiana. A racist state. And no, it's not, oh, I know my place. I just said it was taboo. And no, I do not agree with, and I'm going to say it again. No, I do not agree with white people or non-black people saying the word nigga. So whoever wanted me to address it, they could hit me up on a different um, video I made. But if anyone offended by me saying it's a taboo, then I'm warm enough to say I apologize to anyone that I offended. And there's no buts behind it. I'm not going to put a but behind it or and behind it. No. It's, it is what it is. If any woman or man offended by the comment that I stayed on Jedi's chat, House of Queens TV apologized to him or her if I offended anyone by me saying it's a taboo when we say it and get offended when they say it. 
I can stand ten tones on anything I say and I can repeat it. I hold my head up high. I don't look down on the ground when I walk. I look a person in the eye. I say a lot of other things that may be offensive to people, men or women, black or white. I do say, um, melanated queen. Only to a hand a handful of people. Only to a handful of people. So other people don't is not aware or privy to me uplifting my black women. Because I only do that to a certain people. So I know it's only a certain people that's offended by what I said. I've been racially profiled. I've been called a nigger, not a nigger, by a white woman and a white man. Just recently, when we had the car wreck, I was trying. They were trying to bait us into something more than that. And then, like I said, the young lady said that they called us niggas. So it was just recently I was called a nigga. I said it on my video, so I'm not. Aware of how many people watched that video and said, I'm sorry, how's going to see that you experienced racism? Because we didn't know their language. The young lady that was with her husband that came and tow our truck, they was talking amongst themselves and we was yelling and arguing, carrying on. And she said, when we got home, you know they was calling y'all niggas. And I said, I'm quite sure they was. I'm quite sure they was. But he didn't say it where we could have understood it. Because I don't know their language. But I knew they was calling us out our names. I experienced that plenty of times. And I was angry. Very angry. Very, very angry. But I'm an open-minded person. I like to look at both sides of the spectrum. Yes, it upsets me when a person says that that's not black. Sometimes it upsets me when a black person say it. So, um... I was not going to upload this video because I was like, for what? For what? It's not going to satisfy anybody. I don't know what they want me to say. Hey. But I went ahead and, and make this video, you know, not to please y'all, but to, you know, stand ten toes on what I said. And give y'all a little background on, hey, I said it was taboo. I didn't say I agreed with it. I said it was taboo. Never, ever in this text that I said I agreed with that white people or non-black people. It's okay to say the word nigga. Never once at this whole little statement that I said it was okay for Caucasian or non-black people to say the N-word. Never did I say that. It was okay. Not at fucking all. And yes, I, I be defensive. Of course I be defensive because a lot of stuff that I say on here, people take it out of context. People always coming at me. I don't. I don't come after other people. Yes, you gonna say something to me. I'm gonna respond. I might respond negative, or I might take what you say out of context. But I should have to reach out to anyone 
that had a problem with me. Because, again, I was not aware of the conversation that was being had about me. When I'm off social media, I'm, I'm off social media. I don't let that fester and linger in my head. I don't let it consume my energy. I have a whole, whole, whole lot of things going on in my life. And what about the word nigga is not one of them. Because the people that has a, a, something to say about this right here. Um, there's protests in every state, hood, and city. Have y'all been to one protest? I can't say I only been to maybe two. But I go to my little local meetings when we be having shit. So I can say at least two. I haven't stood front line at a protest. But I have been to two. I didn't like that energy. So, um, again, like I said, I don't know what to expect for what y'all want from me by me saying it was taboo. But like I said, I can be woman enough to apologize if I offended anybody for, for them thinking that I agree with white people or anybody that's not black for them saying the word nigga, which I do not. I do not agree with it at all. So if y'all watch this video, I hope y'all can get it in the comments and and say something. But again, I apologize to anyone that can't say y'all felt. I don't know what the word I'm looking for. If you guys felt offended about me saying this, I apologize. Period, point blank. All I can say is I apologize. Again, like I said, I said 10 times of what I said. But all I can do as a woman... Is apologize. That's all. All I can do is apologize. And again, like I said, I'm not gonna be no buts and ifs about it. I apologize to whoever I offended, and that's real sincere. When I say I apologize, y'all never known me to back down from anything. Oh, I'm scared to go live. When have I ever? If anything is addressed to me, I make a fucking video about it. So sit there and think about that. Anything that's been said, I will make a fucking, I'm an upload queen. My chat ain't never closed. It ain't never closed. And so can't say I was scared or whatever, whatever. Because when I got off of Jedi shit, I went in the kitchen and started mopping my kitchen. And made me something to eat. So I wasn't aware that this shit was going viral. And the young lady who said I was going viral, I said, no, I'm not because it ain't cut me no check. And she asked me, do I know what the meaning of viral? I said, yes, I do. But again, if it ain't cut me no fucking check, then I'm not going viral. And so we laughed about it. Because, uh, shit, yeah, I understand the meaning of fucking Vira, but it ain't, I ain't, they ain't called, the people that hold the word Vira, is there a community, or is there something, a little group or whatever, can they cut me a fucking check if I went Vira? Because I know some other people that went Vira for some shit, um, and they on TV for it, and they, they, they was uh, for some other shit, and it was some something similar, they were saying the word nigga. And they went black. They was been making a mockery out of it, and they went viral and became kind of famous. But they went black. See how they work? See how they work? They got a lot of views from probably a lot of black people for using the word nigga. So there was no outrage. It's pertaining what group you in. So I'm not making a mockery of, of this. I'm, I don't feel no way about it. I'm not upset about it. I'm not letting that energy consume me. You know, like I said, we say a lot of bad, negative things about each other almost every day. 
and whoever they have a, a um feels a certain type of way about what I said, you can't sit here ten toes and confess with your mouth and with your heart and say I have not said anything negative about anybody within the last month. I have not called anyone this word, that word, or that word. You cannot sit here and say you have not, because I'm quite sure by whoever sent that to whoever they sent it to. I probably was every fat bitches in the book. I probably was every fat, ugly, back bitch in the book. And I ain't gonna, I know I was. I know I was. That fat, ugly bitch. Yeah, I probably was all that. That's negative too. That's negative too. And it came from where? Our own people. Our own black sisters. Yeah. Came from our own black people. Our black community. And the other black community, what they do? Kiki and ha ha and laugh. I can't stand that black bitch. I can't stand that fat black bitch. Or I can't stand that black bitch. I can't stand that fat bitch. That's negative too. That's hurtful. People that hear them were the weak ones. They would unalive themselves for hearing somebody say that about them because they weak minded. So, also, saying the word nigga. Saying the word nigga. Again, I do not agree with it. I just made a statement. So, the same ones that disagree with my statement, I hope y'all can get in my comments and, and say something. Because um, I wasn't going to go live. I'm an upload queen. You know, I, 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 don't, I don't really go live like that. Because I don't know how to insert the videos. Because my tablet, I got to go find it. So, mm, yeah, 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 yeah. So, it is what it is. Again, I apologize. And I meant that. I meant that. When I say I apologize. So, don't say, oh, she didn't even mean it. You can't tell me what I meant and what I not, what didn't mean or what meant what my meant little none of that. You, you, you can't say that. You can't say what I meant and what not to meant. And I appreciate the girl that hit me up, you know, because she wasn't even in the chat, so she, they hit her up and um, told her about it. So. Thank you for being warm enough to come to me, sister. I really appreciate it, sugar. And we had a nice conversation. And she she did. She op she opened my eyes a little bit, you know, on, on a few things and um stuff that I be you know um being defensive a lot because I don't know how old the woman that hit me up. I don't know how old she is. Um, but um, I um I really appreciate her hitting me up and then she did open my eyes to um a lot of stuff, you know. So. And then, um, the other lady that we were discussing about the bully topic, um, if you will, would you hit me up in my, um, IG so we can have a conversation? I really appreciate that. I would. If not, it is what it is. So, um, hey, maybe Saturday, if I have a time, I will do a deep dive into this taboo shit. It, it's nothing to start a YouTube channel. It's it's if this is a topic that y'all have um, issues with, it's free ninety nine to start a YouTube channel. I don't get the many views. I do this as a stress relief. When I was going to therapy and counseling. My um, worker said that, do you watch YouTube? And I told her, yeah. So you should start your YouTube channel. And I said, I think about it. And that's what I did. And I told her, it was kind of, you know, it relieves a little stress. Because, you know, even if don't nobody view it, I still got my point of view across. Somebody going to see it. The right person going to see it. And going to tell that person, that person, that person. And that's how you have a chain reaction. That person told that person. That person told that person. But it was something negative, not, not positive. 
See how that work? The negative shit get more attention than the positive shit. We have to change that mindset too, ladies and gentlemen. Damn good show. I'm about to show you this message. It's a beautiful message, man. It's a beautiful message, and I think... I mean, I say it, but... Yeah, when I say it... We joking, but we shouldn't say it either. Yeah, I the mean... N-word. Yeah, I've been sitting here last couple of videos because it just sounds funny. <laughs> but uh, I really shouldn't be using that word. Yeah, yeah. In my opinion, and I've always said this, no black guy. Yeah. Nobody should use that word. Yeah. Right? But for some reason, the black community thinks they've taken that name and turned it into a term of endearment. Which is crazy as hell. Because I know white people, when white people like... <laughs> it's crazy as hell. These niggas calling each other niggas. <laughs> I know white people's like, man, this is just bizarre. And said, it is. I said that wrong. What? Maybe a racist white man would say, these niggas calling each other niggas. White people look back. Wow, black people calling each other the N-word. That's how I should have said it. That's like an oxymoron when I said, wow, these niggas calling each other. (laughs) (laughs) You know what what the racist white people are thinking? (laughs) I taught these niggas good. (laughs) Right, right. What do you call that? Stockholm syndrome? (laughs) It's something like that. Something like that. But I'm going to show you the video. And no, check it out. Check out the video. True story. Just yesterday, uh, a young black guy on my job, around 20 some years old, he called me the N-word, and I got upset, and I told him, I warned him, I said, don't, don't call me the N-word. So he didn't quite understand why I was upset about him calling me the N-word. And I said, let me tell you a little story. I said, back in the early 1980s, my parents moved us to an all-white town in North Carolina. I was around 12 years old, okay? And within days of moving to this town, we saw Ku Klux Klan newsletters and all kind of crap in our front yard every day, Okay? So my brother, my younger brother and I, we were like, why would our parents move us to an all-white town like this? We didn't understand. So, but in the midst of all that, you know, I met two, two cool little white dudes, and they told me where I can go ride my BMX bike and skateboard and all this kind of stuff. Anyway, I went there, had a good time, and I left. And when I left there, I, I was by myself riding my bike back home. I was riding, and all of a sudden, a car jumped the curb. It was two older white men. Took out the car and said, where you going, N-word? I looked, and they said, take your ass back where you come from, you little N-word. And the tall one, he took and looked in my eyes with so much hate, and he spit directly in my face and called me the N-word again. And they left. They didn't touch me, but they left. I remember wiping my face off, and I got back on my bicycle and I started riding back home and I cried. I cried. There was nobody there to protect me. This was done to a 12 year old kid. And I remember, I told myself, I said, when I become a man, I would never allow any fucking body to call me the N word. I don't give a damn you black, white, Asian, Puerto Rican. I don't give a damn who you are. People are brainwashed. There's nothing cool about using that N-word. You're fucking brainwashed. Wake the fuck up. Because I also wrote uh, in the chat, I was like, my nigga with the A, nigger, E-R, and then also with the A, like my nigga, with a A. So again, like I said, yes, I have been called a nigger and a nigga, and they both are. Offensive. If it's coming from a white person, a Mexican, Chinese, and a black person. Also been called a bitch and all this other kind of shit. Same thing. Still hurtful. 
also been also called people bitches. So a lot of words that we use <clears throat> can be offensive to each person. It's not how you say it. It's you just said it. Because there's no different ways of saying bitch. You still say it. So yes. It's not okay for anyone to say the word. Especially non-black people. So Again, I'm going to apologize if I offended anyone for the statement that I made was not trying to offend anyone. Didn't want no one to feel a certain type of way. I was not agreeing with anyone. That is a statement. That it's that is and can be taboo. Period. Point blank. 